Hello everybody, so in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to download and install the Additive Minecraft Java mod pack in 2025. So, let's get started. The first thing you wanna do is go to your web browser, and I will have links in the description if you need them, but just go to your search bar and search up for a website called ModWinf, like so. Once you're this, you should see modwinf.com, just click on modwinf, and it should bring you to the modwinf homepage. Now, just go to the top of the website to discover content, and then go down to mod packs. Then, just go and search mod packs, and type in additive. Now, you should see additive here, just click the name, and this should bring you to the additive homepage on modwinf. So, all you want to do is go to the versions tab and you want to go to game versions and select which game versions you want to play. I'll just be playing the latest Minecraft Java version and here we see a couple files we can get but we just want to choose the latest one in most cases. So here instead of clicking the green download button what you want to do actually is go to a new tab and you want to search up something called MR pack to zip. Now there's a reason for this, it is because you can't actually download the mods directly from ModWinf. It's a bit weird, but you can't do this. So what you need to do here is simply type in mr pack to zip. And you should see this website here, so download.fo here. Just go on modern pack to zip converter. And here you should have three options to get your mods out of these mod packs. So, simply go to download from URL, so it is the middle option, it is the simplest one. Then just go back to additive. Then click like basically around the green download button, but instead of like clicking it, just by clicking it, right? And you should see copy link address, right? So, just do copy link address, and now you copy the link of this button here. Once you go back to modern to zip converter, you can go ahead and paste it. And you should see a URL like this, right? So we went to this, we right clicked, we copied, and we pasted it in there. Now just do download, and it is basically done. So we can see that we have our zip here, and this contains all our mods for additive. So once it's done, all you want to do is go to a new tab, and you need to get yourself Fabric Minecraft to run mods. So just go on Fabric Minecraft. And once you search it up, you should see fabricmc.net. Just click on the link. And it should bring you to the Fabric homepage. Now, just click the blue download button. And then click download for Windows. And this should be everything you need to get additive to work. So just close your web browser. And go to your file explorer to access your downloads folder. Now, the first thing you want to do here is double click the Fabric installer. And basically, you want to select your Minecraft version, which has to be the same as the additive one here. If it is, just do install. OK, and close. And what you want to do here is select additive, and you want to right click it to extract. Now, you might have something like 7-zip or Winwall, just use their methods of doing it, because you might have to. But just find an option called extract, and extract. And that should just open up a folder here with extracted files. So you can now delete the installer and the additive zip. And this is what we are interested in here. Here we can see we have a bunch of jar files of all the mods. That's awesome. So what you want to do here is simply go to your Minecraft launcher. We will need to check if we have fabric currently installed. And we will also be able to add everything to the Minecraft folder. So here we see that we have fabric, so we'll go good. Just go to your installations tab here on the top of the launcher and then hover over fabric here and go to the folder icon. Then here you have this page here. Now you don't want to go in any folders, this is what you want. All you want to do is go to your downloads folder here. You want to double click your additive here. Then you want to select and copy everything inside the folder. Then you want to go back to the top left arrow here and click paste. There you go. So this just adds files to different folders here from this. 
And once you have everything here, all you want to do is just go back to Minecraft here, go on play, make sure you have fabric, and then click play. And this will just load up additive. And yeah, it will be that easy. So we just need to wait a couple seconds for Minecraft to load up. And after this, we will be able to use additive. Okay. So here we have mod. We can clearly see that we have additive here. We have Minecraft 1.14. And we can go to a single player world here. And we can actually start using additive just like normal. So we can just go ahead and try it out. Now this will just burn normally, it doesn't change the, the, the terrain or anything, it's mainly a performance mod pack. But still, we can still check it out, so we can do like, oh, well here we have mod menu here. We can see all the mods included in it. And we also have sodium, sodium extra, iris for the shaders here. We even had resource packs for connected textures if you wanted them. So that was pretty cool. So yeah, there is quite a few things in this mod pack and yeah that's how we get the additive mod pack so if you like this video make sure to like and subscribe and see you for the next one bye